Okay, the third layer to your mixed media style is text. Now at this point, um, I will have cut my cards out because I find that it's very difficult to apply text when the cards are all on a paper like this because I actually have trouble seeing the outlines of the cards once I've put a lot of layers of art on there. Um, I can feel it with my scissors when I cut it out, but I find it easier to take a card out and, um, and really turn it around and figure out where I want to put the text on it in my hands and it's not that messy at this point. So I personally cut my cards out when I move on to the third step. So some suggestions for putting text on. Popular is to print your text or your quote onto a computer paper, print it off and glue it down. You'll see a lot of that. Just print it off, glue it down, and people obviously have different sizes and fonts, ways to outline the text once they've glued it down. You can play with that. Another way is to handwrite your information, your quote, whatever the theme is when you're watching this. Follow your intuition, and I love that it's in her handwriting. This is my handwriting. Um, I really liked the card, and I didn't want to put anything on it. I loved my um, really messy mixed media card, so I put this folder on it, and I just glued it on the back, and I wrote in hand. This is also handwritten another handwritten card and trust me people get really hung up on their handwriting myself included but the person receiving it never thinks what you're thinking about your handwriting just like your weight nobody else is actually thinking what you're thinking in your head when we see it um, there are stamps that have quotes and text on them so this is an actual stamp um, this is also a stamp that she has stamped directly onto the card. So what's nice about that is you can just buy one stamp and stamp it 52 times and be done. Um, this person's art is on photo paper. So she's actually added the text in a photo editing software and then printed it as photo paper and glued it onto the card, which is cool. And then that gives you a lot of options for fonts. I like tags because I tend to get really messy with my mixed media and then not want to write anything on it. So I always find myself adding tags like a brad to keep it secured and a tag. And sometimes I have the string and sometimes I don't have the string. So tags are another way to keep, uh, to add your text without really, if you really want to keep the, preserve the card. Um, you may also use found words from a book like this is actually Christine Mason Miller's card you can use found words I have a collection of text from um, dictionaries and books that I've gone through and found words and phrases so if you have a lot of time on your hands you could do something like that you can use rub on transfers these are rub-on transfers to spell out a quote or a phrase. And of course you could use alphabet stickers. If you find small alphabet stickers, I don't actually have any on hand, but alphabet stickers are a great option too. This is a super, super easy, quick way to add text. If you uh, go to your local craft store, you'll find some things of that nature where you can just use the words, big, bold word, fly, dream, soar, and glue it on your card. I like this Tim Holtz ideology. I got it on clearance or maybe from a friend actually. Anyway, it's a bunch of different words. And so it's kind of like found poetry or finding your words in a book. You can go through and pick out words, which is what I did with this card. I used this Tim Holtz set and wish yourself courage is what I came up with out of all of these words. And then finally, you can use stamp letters. They come in all different shapes and sizes. I have small, tiny, tiny, tiny letters, and I have large letters. Those are the only two sizes I tend to need. And ink of your favorite color. And all of those are ways that you can add text. And I recommend that you add text third and add details fourth.